G'day, my name is Vineet. It's been a while since I published any new videos. So I want to firstly apologize to my members. And uh, now that I've finished the project, I'm back uh, and we will be seeing more videos from myself um, so that you can learn how to use the ABP framework. So in this course, we're going to be exploring the blob storage module with the bookstore web application. We're going to be learning how to upload images to the books as well as the authors using blob storage. So here we are in the Visual Studio and I've got my SRC folder and what I've done is I've actually used the bookstore uh, sample application from the ABP-samples uh, which is available on GitHub and I have modified that and enhanced it so that we can use blob storage um, so that we can upload images and uh, books uh, of um, uh, images of the books as well as the images of the authors uh, all using blob storage um, and the uh, files actually get stored in the database so without any further ado let's uh, run this project and let me show you um, what i've actually done and then we will learn how to build it out so here we are at the logon screen let's click on logon and what we'll do is we'll log in as admin and we can see our bookstore menu item at the top you'll notice that i've added a new section in here called storage uh, but before we explore the storage let's look at uh, the books uh, table as you can see i've got images here uh, coming from the database um, and then they get um, displayed on this um, data table so let's um, add a new book and you'll notice that there are two new fields here one is called image and the other one is called file so what we'll do is uh, we will just upload a book we'll call it the harry potter uh, and the Philosopher's Stone. So I'm just going to um, copy this and just modify it so that it says Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I don't have to type it all out. And we'll say this is an adventure book. And um, Okay, we haven't got um, JK Rowling's in here. So what we'll do is we'll first go into the authors and we will add JK Rowling's in as an author. So let's go new. Let's go j.k.rowling's. She was born, I think, on 31st of July. 1965 and let's say short bio of J K Rowling's just to have some text in there and what we'll do is we'll upload J K Rowling's uh, beautiful image um, and save that so you'll notice that um, in the authors we've got images as well and we've just added JK Rowling's let's now go back to books and go new book and uh, what we'll do is we'll choose the book which is the Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone and uh, let's just say get rid of these dashes in here Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and we'll say that it's um, an adventure and JK Rowling's now appears so notice if I don't pick JK Rowling's I've actually built in some validation and that's server-side validation so I'll be able to demonstrate to you how to actually build in some validation as well we'll say that the, the uh, it was released I believe on 26th of uh, July um i think it was 19 um let's just check that quickly um harry potter um first 
book release date. Wikipedia should be able to tell us that. Oh, there we go. 26 June 1997. 1997. Um, yep, yeah, that's right. And we'll say, I think it's available for 10.99 or something like that on, um, on Amazon. So we fill that out and we'll say save. And you'll notice that we get a error here saying that the following errors were detected during validation. So this is actually server side validation. Please select a valid author because we actually haven't selected a valid author here. So let's say JK Rowling's and then we can say submit. And there we go. We have uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, JK Rowling's. It's an adventure, 6th of 26th of 6th, 1997, 1099, and we've got the beautiful little image here. So uh, where is this image actually coming from? So let's go inspect. So what I've actually done is I've actually uh, created, um, added the blob storage module, and then I actually have written a HTTP API controller in the HTTP API project and basically uh, modified the um, modified um, the um, um, table so that we can actually um, uh, use the API uh, and it basically just displays the uh, JPEG. So um, uh, apart from that, uh, I've also built in some validation uh, for the storage. So rather than um, doing um, the files, uh, uploading the images using uh, when we create the new book, uh, we can actually go into storage and we can actually use this uh, interface over here to upload images as well. So how do we do that? Um, over here, uh, same thing. We just uh, browse an image. Um, let's just make a copy of this image. And we'll say that um, uh, we submit and that will upload the file. And uh, I've got some um, uh, nice little um, uh, message coming up here, file uploaded successfully. So I'll show you how to do that without using Ajax because ABP by default uses Ajax to display these ABP messages. But uh, there's a little bit of a trick that I've used to actually successfully upload the file and then display this image uh, because I'm actually using a post um, using post as a method uh, of the form rather than Ajax. Um, also over here, then we can actually go in here and we can actually download uh, the um, the file. And you'll see that um, when we actually use this download file, it will actually download the file um, in here like this. So there we go. The other thing I've also done is I've built in some um, um, permissions. Um, so let's go into here and go into roles. And you'll notice that I've got a uh, permissions uh, for storage, storage management and uh, I have some storage um, management uh, permissions here whether we can upload the upload the images or download the images let's just say we can't download the images and we save that and then we go back into books you'll notice that um, because we can't download the images uh, we've got broken links over here now right because that HTTP API controller is using that permission that we can't download any images um, and uh, let's um, try and do that again in the storage and you'll notice that um, it will actually give us an error and it will actually redirect us to access denied so join me in the next uh, lesson so that we can start building out this um, enhancement to the bookstore by adding the blob storage module into our web application and so that we can actually upload these images and make it look like it's a nice uh, bookstore application.